Another more powerful method for combining scenes is to use external references. In 3ds Max, this is known as an XREF. An XREF is a scene file that is loaded into another scene file. You've got a hierarchy of scene files, a master or parent scene, and some XREF or child scenes. And this makes it very easy for you to version your work. In 3D, you need to save out a lot of versions of a project. You can't really overwrite your scene every time because it's very common that you'll need to go back to an earlier state. And so you'll save a lot of versions as you go. If your scene file is large and heavy, let's say it's 100 megabytes, every time you save out a new version, you're going to take up another 100 megabytes of space. After you save out 10 versions, suddenly you've eaten a gigabyte of disk storage. But if you were smart about it, you would use XREFs. You'd have a master scene that was maybe, let's say, 10 megs, and you would store all of the model data in XREFs, external reference scenes, that totaled up 100 megabytes. Then every time you save a version of your master scene, you're only using 10 megs of space instead of 100. Another reason to use XREFs is to give you the flexibility of rippling changes across a bunch of different scene files. If you make a change to an XREF, then all of the master scenes that reference that XREF will be updated. So XREFs are very cool, and I recommend that you use them in 3ds Max whenever you've got a complex scene that has a lot of parts to it. We'll go ahead and load an XREF into this master scene. Go to the File menu and choose Reference. Within here, you'll see two entries, XREF Objects and XREF Scenes. You want to choose XREF Objects. That's the one that gives you more power and flexibility. In the XREF Objects dialog, you need to load in a scene file, and that's done from the toolbar at the top here. On the far left, Create XREF Record from File. Click on that, and you should be taken to your current project Scenes folder. In the exercise files that I provided with the course, I've placed the XREFs in their own subfolder. And I do recommend that you keep the XREFs separate from the master scene. Go into the XREFs folder, and let's load in something here. Let's just bring in the walls. Click Open, and now we see we've got some walls in our master scene. In the XREF Objects dialog, it looks like walls.max is selected, but it's actually not. If you click off of it and then click on it again, then it's actually selected and highlighted here in blue. And we can see all of the entities that are being loaded in from that scene file, including all of the objects. And if we scroll down a bit, we'll see that materials and controllers are also XREFed in. Let's load in another one. Click on Create XREF Record from File once again. And this time, we'll load in the doors and windows. Select that and choose Open. And now we've got some doors and windows. We can navigate in our scene. Go to the Perspective View and maximize it with Alt-W. And then navigate with the middle mouse button and Alt and middle mouse. Tumble around. We've got some doors and windows present now. Let's load in another one. Go back to the XREF Objects dialog and click on Create XREF Record from File once again. And this time, let's load in the living room furniture, livingroom.max. Select that and click Open. And this time we get a dialog that says Duplicate Material Name. Now this is where things get a little bit difficult in 3ds Max. If you load in an XREF that has a material that matches a material that already exists in the scene, either as an XREF or natively in the scene, then you've got what's known as a name clash. And we get this dialog. A material name assigned to a merging object is a duplicate of a material in the scene. What do you want to do? Well, if you don't do this right, you could have a lot of problems later on. For example, the links to materials in your external documents can get broken. And what you really need to do to avoid problems is to enable apply to all duplicates and then click on use merged material. And by doing that, you're saying, I want all of the XREFs to carry their own materials with them. And that way, if I make changes to an XREF material, that will be linked in my master scene. And it will update in the master scene as well. So click on Use Merged Material. 
And once you've loaded in all of the XREFs, then you need to actually save the scene out and reload it. And this is actually kind of an issue in 3ds Max. If I went into the material editor now, I would see the duplicate material names apparently assigned to multiple objects. But that, in fact, is not accurate. There is no master material that's assigned to all the different XREFs in the scene. In fact, in reality, each XREF has a completely separate material, even if those materials have the same names. So before you do anything, at this point, you want to save the scene file. Okay, so see, we've got our living room set in there. And we need to save the scene at this point and then reset the program and then reload the scene. And that way we won't have any problems later with links to materials getting broken. And that's how to use external references in 3ds Max.